寂寥，开始的快疯了。一场火急脚，服务好的后荒谬，有你在重要，幸福的快傻掉。大声炫耀，要高峰，去天峰。Good evening, everyone, and welcome to semi-final number one for the 2023 Asia Basket International Basketball Tournament right here in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. You're with me, Ben Ibrahim, and also Coach Mark Dandan, who's our analyst for today. The game between the San Beda Red Lions and Harimau Malaysia coming up very, very shortly. We are all smiles right here, Coach Mark, but you can't say the same thing about both teams because tension is pretty high on the court right now. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Very pumped to see the semi-final game between San Beda and Harimau Malaysia. I know everybody here in the arena slowly filling up, expecting the tension and the competitiveness. We're both looking forward to a great game today. Absolutely. And the Harimau Malaysia team, their ego is a little bit wounded at the moment, losing to the Blazers in the game the other night, 80-66. to 66. Very, very unexpected. But full credit to the Blazers team, coach. They came out firing in the third quarter hit some great wide open shots from the outside and also took it to the rack for some rack attack. Yeah, they, they had a great defensive game plan which they follow up in that second half, uh, propelling themselves to a 14-point victory over Harimau Malaysia. But let's look at this Blazers team. I mean, they are full of confidence, you know, and they've only lost one game in this tournament unexpectedly, but... You know, some great, great young talent there. Guys who know how to handle the ball really, really well. And also who are not afraid to attack the cup. Just like that man right there, Jacob Cortez. Jacob Cortez leading San Beda in scoring at 18.3 points per game. Looking to duplicate it this afternoon against Harimau Malaysia. So now let's go over to our MC who's going to announce the respective players of both teams. Number 18, 
This continent is time to be following by the Malaysian National Anthem. And now let's meet our game officials for this game. Blue Chief is Nelson Lin. Up part one is Mo Jiamala. And up part two is Tan Tian Hua. And we are back. And we do apologize for that technical difficulty. And right now, there was our three referees coming up. Nelson Chan, the man in the middle, literally as he is the master Sifu, as I like to call him, Tan Kuen Hua and our other referee backing him up today. And the referees play a massive part will ha in, in how this game is being run, coach. Oh, referees have been excellent 
this whole tournament very consistent with their calls. They're hoping uh, moving forward here in the semifinal and in the finals to be doing the same things. That's right. And right now, shortly, our courtside reporter, Kim, will be interviewing one of the players from the San Beda Red Lions. So over to you, Kim. Thank you, Ben. I'm here with Captain Pete Alfaro of San Beda. Now, Captain, you, has, you guys had the whole day to take in Kuala Lumpur yesterday. I heard you guys also went to Genting. So now tell me how important was it for you guys to take your mind off of basketball at least a day before the semifinals? Uh, actually, it was fun yesterday because we, we got to see the, the tradition and the culture here in Malaysia. But at the same time, we were really locked in coming to the game. That's why we went home early yesterday. Now, CSB already gave you guys some blueprints on how to take down the national Malaysian team, which is Harimau Malaysia. Nagbigay na ng blueprints yung CSB kung paano talunin ang national Malaysian team. Now, we all know basketball is all about adjustment. Basketball, it's all about the adjustments. Now, tell me, uh, how loud is the roar for San Beda Red Lions today? I think we're gonna put up a pretty fight today because uh, we've adjusted well in our, in our scouting with this team. Uh, we went to see videos, we practiced earlier this morning. I think we're gonna put up a, a good fight for, for Asia Basket. Good luck, Captain Pete Alfaro and San Better Red Lions. Back to you, Ben and Mark. Thanks very much, the Kim. Uh, well, these guys are really locked in and I expect a lot from Jacob Cortez, who had a fantastic night the other day, uh, this week. He's been putting up some great numbers, coach. Jacob Cortez, the cool cub. Again, 18.3 points per game to lead San Beda Red Lions match team in their eliminations. Also, people to look at, people like Clifford Hopia, who's been manning the paint, all six foot nine of him, as tall as the KL Tower. Absolutely. And you know what? This team, I've, I've got nothing but praise for them, especially Yukian Andrada and also James Bayosing and also Dami Kuntapai. Do not leave him open. He can hit it from everywhere. Now, Dami Kuntapai is showing everybody, despite that bulky frame of his, He's been hitting outside shots left and right for San Beda the whole tournament long. And right now, this team I'm very, very familiar with, Lim Chi Wei, Megan Mahadevan. But the stars of this team, Kwek Ten Yuan, Tin Chun Hong, a.k.a. Mei Mei, and also Wong Yi Hao. Can they step up? This young coach, Coach Yong Kian An, a coach from Johor, who succeeded Coach Jeff Reness at the 11th hour. Can he inject some confidence into this team? But he'll have to... Well, go like really break down the numbers of Cliff Hopia. Oh, Cliff Hopia averaging 9.8 points per game, shooting 61% from the field. That is good for third for our tournament, and he has to step up, especially with this matchup against Quick, who likes to play outside. You see here, Quick, Tian well, Yuan, shoot Daddy Quick, Agent Zero, once upon a time number zero, but he's a dad now, 14 points per game. He's got to be consistent from those outside shots. He's got to box out. He's got to rebound. He's got to bring the animal today against this young, young Cub team who are playing like lions. Yeah, Quick actually played pretty well yesterday, shooting lights out. Scored 17 points, perfect in the three-point line, three out of three. He's going to have to bring the outside sniping today against San Beda. That's right. That's their starting five right there. And Mal the Malaysian team, Ong Wei Yong at point guard, Wong Yi Hao at shooting guard, Mei Mei at three, Li Jing Hong at four, surprise selection right there, and Kwek Ten Yen at five. I think they don't want to play Megan Mahadevan because they don't want to get Megan in foul trouble early. They will need him, and don't forget Megan Mahadevan, he's nursing a very, very inconsistent back injury, so they don't want to keep, he, they don't want his disc to evaporate, you know, to really, really flame up. They want to keep him tight, but this Malaysia team, I know them very, very well personally, on the court and off the court. They have, they lack a lot of inconsistency, uh, a lot of consistency, so I say. You know, some days they can bring it, some days they can't. They'll be wounded right now. Just, I mean, Sam, it's, it's really funny. It's the San Beda Red Lions against Harimau Malaysia. Harimau meaning, you know, that tiger of Malaysia. So they've got a roar as well. They can't just rely on shooting. They've got to protect the paint and attack the tin. You know, Harimau is actually leading the league in three-point field goals. Uh, attempted a 35, attempted. Yeah. 35 a game making only 13 a game as well. Well, they've got to defend the perimeter, something they're not very good at. It's just in general, their defensive game is so inconsistent. 
And the keys to the game, Coach Mark, for Sanbeda. Again, Sanbeda has to defend the three-point shooting of Harimau. Harimau, again, the number one team in three-point fields attempted in our league. And spreading the wealth, Sanbeda, number one in assists at 22 and a half per game. And most importantly, getting defensive stops and flowing into their fast break that triggers the offense for Sanbeda. That's, that's what I said. Protect the rim right there. Alfaro, the team captain, got to the rim way, way too easy. So... 2-0, good start by the San Beda Red Lions. A big shout out to Think Before You Type, OK Ken, and some comments here. As Harimau Malaysia has keys to the game, Coach Mark. For Harimau, slowing down the league's number one offensive team, San Beda scores 97.3 points per game to League Asia Basket. And match up with Jacob Cortez, that's going to be tricky because we know Jacob Cortez is dynamic on offense and transition defense, something Harimau hasn't been very good at. They have to be very good today. That's a great move by Wang Yihao as he drew two defenders, so he passed it. And his teammate just scored right there. Missed shot. They've got a rebound. like Their life depended on it. Mei Mei. Out. Got to hang on to the ball. Limit those turnovers. Wang Yihao, good defense right here. By, and Quek couldn't hang on to the ball. Looking a little bit slippery right here. Out. Swing. Fires. Bang! Knocks it in right there. Great three-point shot by the one and only Yukien Andrada. No, Andrada, an, a known inside operator, but showing everyone he can hit from the outside. Great pass from Jacob Cortez. On the drive. Good defense. Here they come, but Malaysia get it back. Ball protection an issue already. Ong Wei Yong, kick. Fires high, arcing shot. In it goes the tin to tie it all up right here. Malaysia going to that outside game. Lee, Jing, Hong. You know, the tough part about Harimau Malaysia is almost all five guys can shoot from the outside. It's going to be very difficult for San Beda to rotate and gamble for those steals, leaving shooters open. Malaysia going to play that physical defense. Off the fake, makes him jump, shoots. The take, the fake, the take, and the make. Basketball poetry, San Beda Red Lion style. Uh, how do you like that fake by Dami Kuntapai Ben? Really selling the shot. That was cocky, but I love it. <laughs> I love it, absolutely. It's so good to watch these players with confidence. Baseline, Wong Yi Hao. Driving, lost the handle. Referee says continuation, there was no foul. Cortez, Cortez. No basket, does, the basket doesn't count. I think there was a blocking foul, said Coach Sorry, referee Nelson. Yeah, it is a blocking foul. Oh, here in the replay, we see, again, one of her keys to the game for Harimau is how they'll defend the transition attack of San Bedan. Right there, very poor transition defense. Nobody picking up the ball early, leading to that foul. So Malaysia on the back foot already. And I must admit, the San Beda team look extremely locked in. Catch. Gotta put your hands up and protect. Good defense by Meime. That's what you call wall-up defense. Good clean block right there by that's Meime on Jomel Puno. That's right. Sienfu bounce to that rack. Oh, could not put it away. Tries to get it back. Here come, comes Cortez, gets the bump, and there's a foul right there. So Malaysia playing a little bit physical at the moment, coach. In Malaysia learning from their matchup against Sanzar Pharmaceuticals last night. They got hit a lot by Sanzar, especially in transition. But now trying to emulate here on you see Cortez again. Transition defense going to be key. Ong Wei Yong not really doing much there aside from fouling. There's good stats there by Coach Mark. Can't let them shoot. If you're Malaysia, put your hands up off the fake. A bit of hesitation right here. Pass to the baseline, fade away. That did not really hit anything. Well, I'm not gonna say, but May May right here. Quick, wide open from the three. Bang! Quick to Nguyen. That's his strength. Can he be consistent with that shot in this game? That's the question as he ties it up. It's been five of five since yesterday's game. That's quick. That's a tough matchup for Dami Kuntape because Quick likes to play outside. Missed shot right here. Malaysia need to take advantage. They usually start really well. Quick thought about the spot up, but he lost his footing. Mei Mei. Sien Fu can hit it. Bang! Sien Fu. Back to back threes for Malaysia. They hit the, they hit the front 11 8. 
But Mark, this looks very familiar with the Blazers game. Floater, miss, tap. They get it back again. Corner, fake. Wants to take the retake, but couldn't. In the lane, out, wide open. Cortez, miss. Ong Wei Yong with the rebound. Ooh, there was a bit of a fraction there between Quick and Kuntapai. Did you see that, Coach Mark? Yeah, they just got tangled up on the box out. So the double foul on Quick double foul, and Kuntapai. Yeah. So Coach Quick, I mean, not Coach Quick, Quick arguing with the referee Nelson just earlier, and he's still having a few words with referee Nelson, and that's the last man in the world <laughs> you'll want to have words with, seriously. That's take, like arguing with Robocop or something. Uh, no, Robocop will say you're under arrest, end of story. <laughs> but this guy would just say, Start, uh, if you keep talking, I'll send you an invitation that you will not like. Quick, again for a three-point attempt, air ball, missed shot, his first miss, miss three of this game as we are not far away from the five minute mark. The Harimau Malaysia team under a bit of internal pressure, Mark, from my sources to make this final. Oh, definitely. This is, despite this being termed as a preparation for the SEA Games, of course, you're playing in your home floor against your home crowd. Of course, you want to make the finals and eventually try to win the championship. And you know what? You're pl playing against college boys, guys who are younger and definitely hungrier, I can tell you what. From the Blazers team and the Sambetta team, these guys are afraid of nobody. Quick. Heng Yi Tong for the th triple. Oh, Heng Yi Tong! Looks like the three point shooting bug are in the shooting veins of Malaysia, Mark. A quick start right here from Harimau Malaysia. And if you're Sambetta, not really the way you want to start defensively, allowing a lot of three point shots from Malaysia early. Well, Malaysia will try to shoot the lights out. If they hit their shots, they're electric. They're Steph Curry. Clay Thompson like Matthew Wright, if there's a name from the Philippines, bang! That's the That's second three right now for Yukin Adrada. That's right, he's shooting really well. Squeeze and Fu. Can he hit another one? He will drive this time. Kicks. Yi Tong, he needs a screen by Anthony. Yi Tong, great defense by Cortez. Gotta watch that shot clock. Oh, Quick Ten Yuan, what were you thinking? You are not. Not the greatest way. ball handler in the world. Yeah, you love to see him shoot the ball. They put the ball on the floor now. Fun to note, Ben, that we are seeing the top two teams in the Asia basket in terms of three-point field goals attempted. Again, I said earlier that Harimau Malaysia attempts 35 three-point field goals a game. San Beda not too far behind at 33 and a half field goal, uh, three-point field goals per game. So it's going to be we're seeing a lot of three-point shots early and often. Well, defense is the key. Can't let Cortez get to the rack. Tap. Yi Tong with speed to burn. Three on three situation right here. Yi Hao attacks. He tried to Euro step it to the tin. But that was a good sell right there because he knew there was traffic in front of him. And all he had to do was ram into that traffic. Yeah, good take right there. Going through the hole. Something you like to see. You can't rely, be, you cannot be over reliant on the three point shot. You're Harimau Malaysia. And like but that's, you said, the, that's the thing about Malaysian basketball. The three-point shot is the blueprint of basketball here in Malaysia, which needs to change, in my objective opinion. The coaches talk about defense all the time, but I don't see it consistently, if I'm being very honest. And, uh, you know, Mark, I say, I say this as a point of frustration as well. You know, I've been commentating with Malaysian basketball for a long time, and I haven't seen much change in terms of the style of play. It needs to change. Because the Sea Games is every two years. You don't want the Sea Games every two years to be Groundhog Day. <laughs> you don't want to repeat of. No, you two don't. Years ago. You don't. I mean, you know, there's been so much promise over the years. You know, you know, make the semi-final, whatever. You know, I mean, 2019 got got beaten by Singapore. You know, uh, for the fifth, sixth position. In 2021, it wasn't that much better either. So really, Malaysian basketball in terms of standings in the Sea Games has gone backwards. You know, once upon a time, it was fifth. Maybe, you know, try to make the semi, but it, it's tough now. And the standard of the Sea Games is up, yeah? It is. Let, let's be very honest. Lots of teams getting better. Oh, and better players. Yi Hao out. Sien Fu for the three. Miss. And referee, referee says foul on the floor right here. Pushing foul. Matrix ball. 
sorry, Malaysia ball. They play under the matrix in the domestic <laughs> season. Yeah, San Pedro guys doing a good, a poor job of blocking out, using too much hands. You know, th uh, I think that was Alfaro who got caught pushing off. No need to do that if you're San Beda. There's a bit of a catch and drop situation, but Yihao couldn't drop it in. So here comes Cortez. He's a live wire from home, the baseline. It's nicely done right there, placed in the basket. Two point ball game. It's been a good, good start. Malaysia not taking their foot off the gas. They are pounding. Their bench will be critical. Sienfu as he drives, as he, as he tried to drive and kick, but great, great, great defense by the tree. That is Cliff Hopia. <laughs> tree is an understatement. Cliff Hopia towering above everybody here in Maba Stadium bit. Look how big he is. I call him the tree of what, what the, the tree the tree of Bulacan. Because <laughs> he's from Bulacan. And Ui Sienfu. Interesting uh, choice of a haircut. Ui oh Sienfu. he's had he's had various colors and braids over the years. The whole the whole ecosystem likes to give him stick about it. He's a very <laughs> nice guy. He's a slam dunk champion, if you can believe that. Is he? Oh, yeah, of a, of a tournament called the Agung Cup. He's quite the entertaining guy. You know, Seems like a fun guy to be with. Yeah, yeah, he's a, he's a very nice guy. One thing about this Malaysian team, Mark, you can't hate them too much, even though they're playing badly sometimes, <laughs> because they're the nicest bunch of guys in the world. They will come up to you, high five, respectfully, have a chat to you, even though English is their second language. Really good people. But they've got to play better basketball. It's, they're not going to give you a gold medal for being a nice guy. And good hustle there by Heng Yi Tong. But that should be almost an eight-second violation for San Beda. Because they're still in the backcourt, and there's only six, there's 16 seconds left on the shot clock. So they really have to get it through, not inbound it here in the backcourt. They got to forward pass it. Andrada to inbound. And it's a really interesting call by the referee, but they are the men with the whistle. Let's get it going right there. There's, there we see. Half court. Almost lost the handle. Visser. Visser with the screen. On the drive. Visser out. Fires. Bang. In. Well, just behind by one point. That's a great, great shot right there. By Iman Tag Tagle. Tagle, our number one three-point shooter percentage drives. Where is a basket of over 50% been shooting from the outside. Can they hit the front right here on the drive? Malaysia need to do a better job defensively. Wall up, Heng Yi Tong. Staying with it. Sian Fu working, well, playing defense on his opponent. Can't let him shoot. Miss. Good rebound. No. Good effort right there by Andrada. Wong Yi Hao, does he have the swagger to go? That looked like a travel if you ask me. Heng Yi Tong, thinking about the three. Yi Tong, out. Pull up for the two, drops it in right there. Malaysia by Ling Ji Hong gets the deuce. And Malaysia. still maintain that three point lead. Yeah, Malaysia in a good flow offensively, hitting some outside shots. But defensively, they're still struggling Defend one-on-one -on -one and in transition. Absolutely. We're not used to that style of play with the local teams. Turnover here by the Red Lions. Here come Malaysia thinking about a big three-point shot to extend the lead. Heng Yi Tong screened by Anthony. Heng Yi Tong shoots off the glass. Bank shot. The bank is open this Sunday afternoon for the Malaysia Harimau team. Okay. Yi Tong. Excellent use of the glass. Actually a good read of the ball screen. Sanbeda very lax with their ball screen defense leading to that open shot. Baseline. Out. And what's the call here by the ref? Pushing foul. Foul committed by a Malaysian player. And Malaysia absolutely change it up. A line change if you're a hockey fan. Change it up. Did you ever watch that movie Mighty Ducks? Yeah. Yeah, Mighty Ducks too when Coach Michelle said, change it up. The whole team. And our whole team came out. Yeah. So this is 
Well, not Mighty Ducks, but Mighty Malaysia Harimau. So <laughs> change it up, and it's a new five on the court. Let's see what this five can bring. So it's good to see that the coach of Malaysia and Richard, the director of basketball, and Coach Kulim Lee, good backdoor cut, and couldn't finish right there. But like I was saying, good initiative by the coaches not to get complacent on one strong five. We give everybody a chance. Kim, our analyst, uh, our courtside reporter, has some anal analytics for us. What's going on, Kim? Thank you, Ben. Coach Jude Rocca says that the team had a fun time yesterday exploring the city, but for today, they have their eyes set on the prize. They will not be doing anything different today, but expect to see a lot of players being switched back and forth to conserve the energy since they will be relying on their agility to score as much points as they can in this first half. Back to you, Ben. Thanks, Kim. 91 seconds to go. And puts it away. 21 to 17, four point lead with 90 seconds to go for Malaysia. Malaysia played well against the Blazers, Coach Mark, in the first and second quarter. And then in the second half, it was meltdown, shutdown. Now they only scored 15 points in that second half against the CSB Blazers. And Ben, it's interesting to note how Megan Mahdevan will really play in today's game because the pace has been fast, has been quick, something Megan is not known for. Absolutely. So timeout call. We're back after this. back right here 21 to 7 a big shout out to all our fans young Lin Kong Mario think before you type Dexon Swiss Joe okay Ken welcome back just to name a few who have left some comments on our live chat you can leave your comments on your live chat and if it's nice we'll read it out if it's harsh and negative I'm sorry we like to stay positive sorry no lorry as we say in Malaysia <laughs> So these guys send better. They've got nothing to be sorry about. They are trailing, but they are such a talented young team. Corner three, miss. Rebound right there by Meme. That's a good rebound by Meme. Hong Wei Young, and here's Dee Wee Young with a skip pass. Megan, Megan's gotta be careful. Swing, extra pass. Dee Wee Young, the two is good by Dee Wee Young. Excellent ball movement right there from Harimau Malaysia. Finding the open man. Utilizing a lot of passing right now. Something they haven't been doing a lot. Been reliant on one-on-one -on -one plays for the past few games now. And Iman Tagle just really had the ball right there. But Malaysia are playing well defensively. I always, I think they're saying to themselves, do not get complacent. Almost lost the handle right there. May May. Lost it, but gives it, recovers and gives it to Ong Wei Yong, who turns it over. Here they come. They've got almost a four-on-one situation. Corner pocket. Miss. Gets his own miss. To the cup. Unlucky. Malaysia. Thanking their lucky stars that that didn't go according to plan for Senbeda. Tried to scoop it. Lost the handle. A bit too ambitious right here. Fires. Oh, almost in and out right there. As he's disappointed with that one, but it was courageous and gutsy. At the end of the first quarter right here at Maba Stadium, it is Halimau Malaysia 23, San Beda Red Lions 17. We're back in the next two minutes.
start of the second quarter in the next seven seconds. Malaysia lead by a slender margin, 23 to 17. You're with me, Ben Ibrahim, Coach Mark Dandan, and Kim Mas, our courtside reporter, as well as Noel Zarate pulling the strings behind the scenes, making sure all the content and production is flowing smoothly from start to finish. But we can't say much about the basketball. Harimau Malaysia under a lot of pressure, Coach Mark, and Sam better believe that they can get it done right here. It's topsy-turvy, turnover here for Malaysia. Here comes Sam better fires, miss, gets the ball back, up, and one. He gets the bucket and the bang. They're not shooting well from the outside, but those second chance points, those, e those efforts to get those putbacks is strong, Coach Mark. Sanbeda not really connecting from the, outside, from the outside early on, but the hustle from Jacob Cortez, as you can see on the replay, not giving up, scoring over a bigger guard. This quarter will be critical for the Harimau Malaysia team. They've got to back it up. The first quarter, anything can happen. Posting up right here. Good defense. Quick launches it. Hits it right there. Kwek Ten Yen, the veteran. He's been part of the Malaysian basketball team for almost 13 years. Visser off the fake, handoff. They, a turnover, a slip right there. Good pass. Megan off the fake. He brings it up. He's got to be careful. Oh, he, t he attacks the 10. <laughs> He said, maybe I can play point guard. Uh, there was a fake almost turnover from Megan. I'd like to think he meant to do that. Uh, I think that was just quick, <laughs> think quick on your feet. Very, very quickly. Cortez with the two, for the two-point attempt. Shots not going down for San Beda. What's going on here, Coach Mark? San Beda, not really in any kind of flow. Very disrupted. Especially yeah. in the half court. Not executing as well as they should be. Meme couldn't hit that shot. If that he hit that shot, that would have changed the the tempo of this quarter. So it's a holding foul, says referee Nelson. It's an in and out right there. So the boys from San Beda missing quite a bit of shots, but in terms of second chance. They are just, I'm sure they're out-rebounding Malaysia, even though I haven't seen the stats as yet. Cortez with the bounce pass. A oh, good move, try to work glass. Oh, Visser with the, gets the rebound, kick, fires, miss. Malaysia need to do a better job grabbing those rebounds, Coach Mark, those defensive rebounds. You know, Sanbeda a lot more physical right now than Malaysia, and Malaysia's not really responding well to the physicality. And I think Quick is down on the floor. Seeing the replay right here, the rebound. I think two guys from Malaysia hitting each other in the head by accident. <laughs> That's what you call the headbutts. <laughs> That's big now, Ben. I think Quick right now has working with two fouls. He's yeah. been very good. He's hit three three-point shots, leading Malaysia. Well, his backup, if anything happens for Malaysia, is Anthony Liu who is, again, I, I'm being factual here, Anthony, the, the comparison between Anthony Liu and Quake is massive because Anthony Liu is not an outside shooter. You know, he's a bit clumsy in terms of boxing out and rebounds, very slow in transition. Hard-working guy, though. He works hard, he works his socks off. And Coach Kulim Lee, the assistant coach of the Malaysia team, has, you know, absolutely had some screaming matches with him <laughs> over the years, publicly as well. Ouch. Yeah. Good pass, wide open, Daddy Quick, bang! He's on fire right now. He is bringing his A game to this one. The quick lighting Sanbeda up from the outside. It's been an awkward matchup for the Sanbeda Bigs because Quick always on the outside, not really used to guarding somebody like that. Quick, oh, good defense right there. Tap, May May, skip pass, touch pass. Yi Hao, Yi Hao puts it up and in. Malaysia on a 5-0 run. There's going to be a timeout call by the San Pedro Red Lions because of that 5-0 run by Malaysia. Good momentum here by the Malaysia boys. They lead by 14 points. Coach Mark will be back after this timeout break.
And welcome back, everybody. A comment there by Zion Ko. A very interesting comment right there. And and uh, I'll stick to the facts on that one, Zion. So facts are facts. So thank you very much to all our comments. LH Chu also leaving some comments. Yes, Megan Mahadevan is carrying a little bit of a back injury, but that's nothing new. He just nurses it from tournament to tournament. But Coach Mark, Malaysia have a good have a good momentum here at the moment. Sam Bella has only scored two points ever since the start of this quarter. What do they need to do to step it up and get back to that flowing Sam Bella motion like flow offense? Now, number one, they have to get out in transition, attacking the fast break. They're not really getting to do that because Malaysia's hitting their three-point shots. And number two, somebody has to step out and guard Quek on the outside. Again, awkward matchup for guys like Dami Kuntapai and Jeff Hopia. We're used to playing inside the paint. Absolutely. Puts it up. Oh, tried to beat the shot clock. Missed shot right there by Malaysia. Here comes Jacob Cortez, the mighty mouse, to the, or kicks to the corners. Out. Wide open, but drives the lane. Couldn't get that to go in. And you feel for Sembera because they think they're getting really, really close. I mean, they're getting their shots from the offense, just not really falling. That's right. Out. Malaysia trying to space it. May May. Oh, almost Anthony. Oh, well done, Anthony. He must have heard my comment. <laughs> like you said, he works his socks off and he worked hard right there. Getting it done. Still two points only by Sambeda. Oh, Malaysia bring that physicality. I thought that was very unnecessary for by Wong Yi Hao. He didn't need to do that. An experienced player like him should be a bit more calm and collected. Right now, Ben, Harimau Malaysia working on a 14 to two run to start the second quarter. We see a replay. I re going to the IRS, our referees. Ooh, this is, this, it's interesting. It's gonna be very interesting to call out here. Coach Mark, your level of expertise in this area. Anything above the head, again, they've been very consistent with calling stuff above, sorry, above the shoulders. We've seen guys getting disqualification fouls for hitting somebody above the shoulders, and that's at least a sportsman-like foul on Wong Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the call. But, again, our refs have disqualified someone for hitting another player above the shoulders, so they have a precedent for that. Oh, yep, on Sportsman Lights. It'll be the San Beda Red Lions who will go to the charity stripe for some production attempt, well, so, some attempted production action. So let's see how they can move it. New Harimau really moving better today compared to the game last night against Sanzar. They look a lot sharper. And as you said, they're playing with a lot of pressure, Ben. Oh, no, they are under quite a bit of pressure to win this game and at least make the final, you know. I mean, some wounded egos after their loss to the Blazers. So I can't blame the management and the coaching staff for getting pretty annoyed and a bit upset. At, at the moment, there's some, there's some wounded egos in this team. So, inbound. Oh, tried to do a, the lob pass right there. But I thought that was mighty, mighty ambitious. So, let's see what happens. Oh, gives it away right here. Dish, drive, up, yes. Great, great press and a basket right there by Payosing. Malaysia cannot fall into the trap right here. Middle, down the middle, Mei Mei. Anthony tried to go for the tip, but he recovers it back. Handbags going everywhere. And there's a foul committed by one of the San Beda Red Lions player. San Beda, again, not a good job. Say. Blocking out. Anthony working hard, as Ben would say. Working his socks off underneath the basket. Getting that offensive rebound. Giving Maharimau another possession here. Ong Wei Yong comes out, and Heng Yi Tong will come on as point guard. So... 
the coaching staff of the Malaysian team want to add a bit more speed in that transition. And they want a better defensive transition as well. Ong Wei Yong handles the ball better, but Heng Yi Tong, he's like a Ferrari <laughs> on the court. That I would love to see. Well, Heng Yi Tong's got speed to burn. Look at his decision making. Not as good as Ong Wei Yong, because he's not a natural. He more he grew up as a shooting guard. Wong Yi Hao, the releases for the triple, miss. Couldn't get it. Here comes Puno. Andrada. In and out. Good rebound. Look at that. Rebounding hustle by the Red Lions. Turn around. Gets it in. And Malaysia again goes back to rebounding and boxing out. So timeout call right here. I'm sure Coach Kulim Lee and the coaching staff will be draining that message into their heads. More after this when we come back. Love the energetic hustle of the San Beda Red Lions, Coach Mark. It's really ingrained in their DNA to fight it out. Fight it out, get those defensive and offensive rebounds. Ui Sen Fu being chased, chased out and hunted down. Good D. Look at that. If only we could take that defensive hustle and just leave it as a blueprint right here. You Again, know, that's why they're playing in tournaments like this. They see these, yeah, these things. Yeah, you know, I, I really Vega. see the, this tournament in the future. Imagine if we had all these collegiate teams from oh, yeah. all over Asia. How that cool would that be? be? Fun. You know, the collegiate teams from Chinese Taipei. I want to join that. Yeah, man. <laughs> I, I would, well, I'd love to call that with you. A, a collegiate teams from Australia, New Zealand. Yep. That would be awesome. That would lift the standard to another level. Oh, China. Hang Yi Tong. He's got to control himself and be patient. Yi Tong rushed again by Heng Yi Tong. Is Malaysia letting San better into this because of their impatience and rushness? Cortez, don't let him take a three. He'll go for the three. Miss Anthony with a Superman type rebound. Yi Tong. Mei Mei and puts it in right there. Mei Mei said to. The referee, that was a foul, but I didn't think he had a case. I thought very smart of the referee to keep the continuation going right there. Cortez, guarded by Heng Yi Tong. There's two small point guards. Long three. Ooh. Oh, tried to bank it in. Hook shot that is good. That was a pass. Well, you count an assist. That's right. <laughs> but, but lackadaisical rebounding by Malaysia once again. Yi Tong. Trying to spin, trying to dance. Sien Fu for the long three. Missed. Mei Mei couldn't get the rebound. He needs to run back. Here comes the San Beda boys. Fires! Missed shot. Ooh. And gets the ball easily from underneath and just puts it in like an open invitation to a Hadiraya open house. <laughs> that's the second, oh, that's the third consecutive time that San Beda has made the basket out of an offensive rebound bin. And as you said, rebounding lacking right now for the Malaysians. Absolutely. Anthony with the screen, doing his work. May May fires. And you see what Malaysia is trying to do here, Coach Mark. They're trying to shoot their way out of trouble. Again, as you said, Ben, shooting their way out of trouble, not really the answer for Malaysia this quarter. When I say trouble with the way they're playing at the moment in terms of, you know, like low-key low, low key rebounding, you know, transition speed is not the best. 
And we're looking at this right here. May May sidestep three. And yeah, that was not a good shot. Not a smart play right there by Anthony, just barreling over. Anyway, Co Hata. Coach Kim, is, uh, it's not Coach Kim, she talks like a coach. Uh, as this courtside reporter, Kim, is going to give us something different to talk about. What's going on, Kim? Well, Ben, the, ba the Maba Stadium is filled with the roars of Harry Mau Malaysia fans. This definitely boosts the spirit of the Malaysian national team, who acknowledges that their opponent is also a formidable foe. The pressure is high as they are the defending champions, but assistant coach assures that their eyes are set on the goal once more. Ben? Thanks very much, Kim. Malaysia just need to play that man-to-man -man defense and rebound like your life depended on it. That's the only way that uh, you're going to change the mentality of Malaysian basketball. Box out and rebound. Get in there. A lot of the imports who come to Malaysia all the time, they're always screaming, and Singapore as well, they're always screaming at the, lo the local players. Saying, come on and help me. I can't rebound myself. I've seen imports on the court screaming at their local teammates, Coach Mark. Yeah, I saw Will Vedder the other day screaming at his teammates. <laughs> I don't uh, blame him. He was doing Block everything. Out. Block out, guys. I can't do it by myself. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's... You know, that should be the next Maba basketball song. <laughs> Box out. <laughs> well, I have to commend my, my guy here, Ben Ibrahim, with the pipes earlier, singing the Malaysian National Anthem. Oh, thanks, man. Well, the Malaysian National Anthem wasn't working, so that's a bit disappointing, you know. I've given you the mic. Uh, no, but, but was this... But if there's one person, I would, well, if there's one race that I would always select to sing a song, it's someone from the Philippines. <laughs> you, your doctors can sing. Your surgeons can sing. Your, Not me. You know, your teachers can sing. Everybody can sing in your country. Not me. Oh, really? I, I, I find that hard to believe with your <laughs> deep, brooding voice. Uh, I'm a voice meant for TV. <laughs> That's a good thing. Six points down, Malaysia. San Beda have done a fantastic job to get back into this one. Two possession game. Rush shots right there. Anthony, Yi Hao, good defense by the San Beda Red Lions. Look at the pressure that San Beda are bringing out, Ma. They are really, really, you know, going tooth for tooth. No pun intended with this Harimau team. Yeah, with, because of that pressure right now, San Beda on a 12 to 2 run. What was once a 16 point lead for Harimau Malaysia, excuse me, 14 to 4 run. It's now down to six, Ben. Yeah. Reminiscent of their game against the college. Yeah, that's Denise. right. It looks like a deja vu situation. They want. They don't want to repeat that movie. Sien Fu, jabbing, driving, behind the back, too fancy. Yi Hao, uh, they beat to the rack and finishes with the finger roll right there. And I think their confidence is a little bit shattered, Malaysia, at the moment. Jom Jomel Puno with the basket earlier. They're rushing here, Malaysia. Got to slow down. Sienfu pull up, bang shot, no good. Here comes San Beda out. Can't take, let San Beda take a shot. They've got some decent shooters in this team. Around, kick. They want a couple of players outside. Good screen by Viser. Shoot the rock. Oh, the bang shot did not go down for San Beda. Heng Yi Tong. Malaysia playing with a lot of nerves at the moment. Yi Hao. Yi Hao puts it up. That wasn't the greatest choice in the world. And turnover right here. This could be a lifeline. Yi Tong. What was he thinking right there? It's a bad take That's from Yi Tong. He had a two on one break. That's what I said, Mark. Mark. Fall in love with a three-point shot. They f they're in love with it too much. And now director of basketball, Richard, is super unhappy. And when he's super unhappy, you're going to be scared. <laughs> Time out calls.
Welcome back, everyone. One minute, 58 seconds to go. Malaysia only up by four points. San Beda roaring like a locomotive on the court. They are not afraid of their older counterparts and rival today, or rivals. Baseline out. And knocked into quick right there. Blocking foul, Sen better ball. Oh, that's big for Quick. That's his third foul, and Ooh. he's been playing very well. The only, the, I think you better give Quick some rest time and give Megan some game time, because if not, you'll have your best shooter and your biggest guy on the court out of the game. San Beda looks like they're ready to press after these free throws. A good basket right there by Iman Tagle, the man from Lucena City. Ten yeah. points, Ben. He scored ten points. No, ten points for you. Ge geography. Oh, again, okay, cool. Point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've got a good teacher, man. <laughs> oh, as he said, here comes Megan. Yeah, well, they, they have no choice. He is the only likely backup. Him, it's either him or Anthony. And if you're gonna get, if you want production, Anthony. I mean, between Megan and Anthony. Megan's going to give you more production. Re Megan will try to, you know, set those pick and rolls and then roll to the rim and attack it. Look at this press by the Sambeda team. Smart. Hong Wei Young. Yes, they need a better ball handler on court. Megan, see, he will attack. Kick. Fires. Short. Confidence a little bit low here for Malaysia. Sambeda can hit the front with his three-point shot. Bang! Sambeda hit the front. Yukin Andrada, points number 13, 14, and 15. That's now a 24 to 4 run for San Beda. And Harimau really struggling from the outside, relying too much on that three point shot. Now they look nervous right here. Look at that. They were taking a lot of rush shots. Here comes San Beda. San Beda smelled blood. Cross. Can't get the sauce. Good defense by Megan. Needs to pass quicker. Find your hot guy in. Neme around and in. I'm surprised the referee let that go. That in to be objective, that looked like an offensive foul. Referee's calling a, a flopping warning on Gallego. Really? That's interesting. <laughs> now that's only the second basket all for Meme. Really down at the post. 30 seconds to go. Who's gonna hit the front? Or who's gonna be in the front before? Or well, at halftime, three-point shot. Can't hang on to the ball. Megan couldn't hang on to it. And San Beda will say, thank you very much. We will go for a big three-point shot. Fiso with the screen. Meme playing D. Can't let corner pocket. Bang! San Beda up 41-39. And right just like that, they have really, really taken Malaysia to the sword. 24 points to 16 in the second quarter. You have to give them credit, Mark, Coach Mark. They fought and battled. Sanbeda utilizing the pressure defense, forcing Malaysia turnovers and missed outside shots. They got running, they got to their transition offense, hitting a lot of shots. And then the rebounding for Malaysia, something to frown on if you're the coaching staff. No, no, it, it's a, I, I'm lost for words because I've seen this movie 101 times. Yeah, I mean, we always say in Malaysia, the chat amongst the ecosystem, you've got to rebound and box out better, but that's a conversation. We've got a halftime interview right here with Alex Visa with Kim. Over to you, Kim. I'm here with Alex Visser. Now, Alex, what worked for you guys in the first half? It's very tight. Uh, yeah, um, they're coming out strong. Uh, we just had to come back because um, their bigs are bigger than ours, so we had to play as a team, play good defense. Uh, they were blowing by us in the first uh, few possessions, but we got to uh, play proper defense, help side, help our help the helper, help the defense, and that's what we're sticking to, team defense. Now, Alex, you guys are leading right now. What can you do to close out this match? Uh, staying consistent, um, staying active, we need to keep running. There's a good team, there's a very good Malaysian team, and uh, the only way we can win is if we really play as a team. We can't have egos, we can't play selfish, and we're going to do it uh, together. So that's what we're going to try to do, and that's what we're going to stick to, team basketball. 
Thank you. Good luck, Alex. Back to you, Ben and Mark. Thanks very much, Kim, for that interview with Alex Visa. We're just going to take a commercial break right here. Enjoy the highlights. When we come back, we're going to talk about the first half and then roll over to the second half. We'll see you soon.
闲聊，开始的快疯了。你从不计较，服务好的很荒谬，有你在重要，幸福的快炸掉。大声炫耀，要高峰，去天峰。Welcome back everyone to our game today and between Sun Better Red Lions and Halima Malaysia. If you just joined us for the very first time in this game, it is Sun Better who hit the front with a big three-point shot before the end of half time to hit the front 41 to 39. And just as we saw the stats right here, we are lining up for an interview with our courtside reporter Kim, who's with Ui Sien Fu. Over to Thank you, you Ben. Wang Xian Zai and Wang Xian Fu. I'm currently with Wang Xian Fu. Now, I want to ask you in English. You can ask Chinese. Okay. Now, you guys were up by 16 points. Um, what do you plan to do right now? We will prevent the other team from scoring. Conway did not score. We will keep the ball and try to prevent the opposing team from scoring. Now. This is the same thing when you guys went up against CSB. What can you do differently now? Um, just take our fans or you do to some not each or something. Yeah. Same as same thing. Uh. Uh -huh. Back to you, Ben and Mark. Well put, I mean, the, the good old saying in Mandarin is which means I don't know, but I know exactly what he said. Hit the shots, get the rebounds. And they are, and surprisingly, they're only out-rebounded by a single stat right there, Coach Mark. And yes, Sanbeda really making up for lost time with that rebounding via the offensive rebound. Sanbeda already with 11 offensive rebounds compared to 7 only for Harimau Malaysia. And Harima actually started very well from the three-point line. They started four out of seven in the first quarter. But now they're shooting six of 19 for 31%. So that means they only shot two out of 12, Ben. 
in that second quarter, falling in love too much with the outside shot. No, that, that's, that's the Malaysian basketball poetry manual. It's, it's poetry and the manual put together in one. So, I, again, it's, it's a hard thing that a lot of coaches have tried to change over the years to try to give them a bit more motion, pick and rolls and all of the above. But when you've been coached for that long with that system, it's very... It's not easy to, for all habits to die hard, is it? Yeah, definitely. And looking at more stats right now, San Beda actually, when Harima was leading by 16 points with six and a half minutes left in the second quarter, San Beda went only 22 to four run to take over the lead. Those four points courtesy of May May, who actually scored on post-ups against the smaller San Beda guards. Something Harima Malaysia hasn't been looking for, those mismatches with May May uh, on the post. That's right. I mean, I mean Malaysia. I mean, we saw earlier Heng Yi Tong. He was quite wide open. Instead of just driving in for the two, he took a big three-point shot. So I, what Malaysia need to do as this kiss camera is coming on, don't fall in love with that three-point shot. Just fall in love with the guy next to you, like these guys right here, and just <laughs> say pass the ball and shoot it. So you know, and get decent open open looks in the lane. You know, the baseline. Simple, simple basketball that's going to get them back in this game. Because this is a potential destruction right here for Malaysia, Mark. If they let San Beda, if they play, continue to play that way, which is a predictable way, San Beda would just hammer them, get some steals, and really, really, you know, go absolutely ape nut in the lane and score those easy layups. You know, they, they really had the good flow going on in the first quarter. And in the first half of that second quarter, they were driving, they were kicking, they were hitting actual mid-range shots, Ben. Getting to the tin, as you said, getting those kick outs to guys like, guys like Quick, who unfortunately for Harimau, working with three fouls, a big problem for them because Quick is leading them right now with nine points. May May very silent in the first half. He only has six. But the good thing going now for Malaysia is that your bench is playing very well. They have 16 bench points being led by your guy Ushan Fu. Ushan Fu. Ushan Fu. Ushan Fu. My mistake. No, he no, has no five problem. points you, leading you, the bench. You make mistake. Uh, you educate me with the Philippines pronunciation. I educate you on the Malaysian pronunciation. That's why we're friends. Yes, sir. So there's a lot of argument happening on the live chat, and I can't blame them. But there was one comment left by Jensen Chu. Jensen, we have a Malaysian commentator, which is me, Ben Ibrahim. We have Coach Mark Dandan, who's a Philippines commentator. That's we good. will be objective in all our calls that we call. And whether, I mean, I'm a Malaysian saying that Malaysia is not playing so well and San Beda is playing well and vice versa for Coach Mark, then so be it. Basketball don't lie. Ball don't lie. Ain't that right, Coach Mark? That's a universal truth in basketball. The ball don't lie, as the great Rashid Wallace would say. <laughs> and as the great Ben Wallace would say, I didn't have enough money for a haircut. So, <laughs> so here we are, but life is fair. And this Malaysia bringing out some real, real physicality right here. Again, it, we, we don't see Quek on the court because he is in foul trouble. So they are going to be reliant on Lee Jing Hong to do some rim protection. But they can't let San Beda take shots. Right. Here they come to the rack. And he's foul right there as he tries to attack the tin. And that is Jomel Puno. Bad foul right there from Lee Jing Hong bailing out Jomel Puno on that drive. There was only 2.7 seconds left on the shot clock. Now they're giving San Beda two free throws. So Jumo Puno, I quite like this guy. He's a very talented player. I, I could foresee him playing as an ASEAN import. You know, a big guy for a local ASEAN talent. Yeah, Ben, I had the... I want, I, want, I want to say fortunate, but unfortunate time of playing against Joe Malpuno in Sabedas B team. So I coached for the University of Asian Pacific back home. We played them. He started the center. He jumped the ball. And he was the acting point guard as well. <laughs> okay. Anthony posting up. And good swarming defense right there by San Beda. And don't can we... Don't, I mean... Zee, Young Zewen, you said we have a full stadium. No, we don't. It's a good sized crowd, though. It's a good sized crowd for a Sunday. You know, it's the fasting month, so some people will be going out to buy their food. Shoots. Oh, fouled on the three point line. Ooh, bad foul from 
Listen, bed the boys fouling. Valencia's best player. You don't want to give a guy like May May free shots at the line to get his rhythm. Yeah, but sometimes uh, you know, it really depends because May May he's he hasn't had the best last six months. You know, he's he's nursed a few injuries actually, and his numbers compared to previous games in 2020, 21, and before the pandemic, not as good. You know, and he's uh, he's done very very well. He had a good ABL season, the domestic season. The, the playoffs, he wasn't happy with his performance. So May May trying to, you know, put the uh, get the monkey off the back, put so the, to speak. So to speak. But two out of two right here. And as I always say on Malaysian commentary, can he do the Paul George and hit three out of three? I remember Paul George when he played for the Indiana Pacers under pressure, 0.5 of a second left. He had to hit three consecutive free throw shots. Which Maymay has done, the PG. The Not the PG. point guard, the Paul George. The Paul George, three out of three free throws from Maymay. That's right, and right now it's even Steven, 42-42. But let's not read into that too much. Let's see, because it's early days yet. Let's see if the San Beta team, how they respond in this third quarter. Because as I always say, Coach Mark, the third quarter is the premiership quarter. That's the reason why you do your extra runs, suicides, and all of the above, and extra weight sessions. Because your fitness will be really, really tested right here. Fires. Miss. Tap. Great tap. Cortez off the fake. On the Ooh. drive, and in it goes for the deuce. Jacob, Jacob Cortez. Cortez. Great move, Jacob Cortez. Again, utilizing that Pinoy step. Flustering the Malaysian defense. Uncle Mike would be proud. <laughs> Uncle Mike is his father, a legend in the Philippines. Spin move. And there's a foul right there. So what I think Malaysia's, Malaysia's going to try to do in the third quarter, Coach Mark, drive the lane, attack the tin. But they've got to place May -May. themselves a lot better than that. Yeah, you love to see Meme doing exactly that. You know, using that big body, that big frame against the smaller San Pedro guards. May May right now with nine points. That's usually in Malaysia. He'd be having about 27 points already. So, but he's up against a better standard today. He's up against foreign t foreign opponents who, who he has never seen. And you know what, uh, Coach Mark? I'm, I'm just going to put it out there right now. I mean, this is a message to our boss, Jai Reyes. Jai, you've done a fantastic job getting these teams in. Let's get more collegiate teams in. You know, let's make this, I mean, let's make collegiate basketball sexy because it's very <laughs> sexy in your country. It is. It's a high market. We got some high market leagues in the UAP and the NCAA back in the Philippines. I mean, the UAAP, I mean, UAAP or UAP? Double a Any. Any yeah. Yeah. I mean, that attracts imports. It does. You we know? have foreign student athletes, as we, as we like to say. Okay. Oh, technical. That's a technical on someone. Oh, think that's from Malaysia. Like, yeah, that's on Lee Jing, Jing Hong. Another one. He had one yesterday as well. For taunting. So, referee Nelson, not the most popular guy in the world at the moment. Yeah, Nelson saying, I'm not putting up with it. So. Technical on Wong Yi Hao. That's his second technical. Oh, he's out of the game. That's big. He had an unsportsmanlike foul earlier in the game. Now getting a technical foul. He is out of the playing court. And the San Beda team celebrating That's right big. now. For those who don't know, Wong Yi Hao is usually the second leading scorer. And he yeah, can't stay, stay on the bench. He has to leave the game. Yeah, he literally has to leave the venue. Someone call security. And the referee is deliberating. Was that the second technical call? Yeah, the, a combination of an unsportsmanlike foul and a technical foul does con constitute a disqualification. And the, the game commissioner is Mr. Tiong Kiaka, my former boss. When I worked in Maba, was one of the best referees in the business. So if Mr. Tong says, thumbs up, not thumbs up, <laughs> the decision has been made. And again, that's going to be huge, a huge That's loss. going to be massive because Mal Malaysia, who are they going to look to for some production? 
They're deliberating and debating this right now. And the game cannot continue if Yi Hao is still on I, the bench. I'm a, I'm a, I didn't read too much into it because I, I mean, I, I forgot that he was on the first. So he has, Wong Yi Hao is leaving the building right now. There he is on screen, down the stairs, and he's going to have an early shower. And right now, the Malaysian team have been sent a message by the basketball guard. I am testing you. The missed shot right there by Pete Alfaro, the team captain. Yes, for those of you who are wondering what happened, Wong Yi Hao has got has received his second second technical foul, which means in two technicals you are ejected from the game. Oh, we got the drums now, Ben. Yeah. Drums are beating. Cortez trying to do a backdoor cut. Good screen, hustle defense by Malaysia. And a wall up, or oh, puts it up and in. Good movement, great ball movement right there by Sanbeda. Alex Visser with the clap. Oh, ex excellent patience by Joe Melpuno. Taking his time, driving that lane, finding Andrada cutting on the baseline. Johnny Wong hits the three to tie this up. It's players like John Wong who are the sixth and seventh man respectively who need to step up and play two-way basketball. Now with guys like Quick in foul trouble and we Yi Hao out of the playing court, guys like John Wong really have to step up and score, help out Meme on the offense. And Cortez right now, and this is uh, with the next question, how long do they keep Quick on the bench? Attacks the 10 and puts it in. Looks like that ejection has sparked a fire in Malaysia. And Harimau Malaysia playing with their teeth out. The Tigers biting back against the Red Lions. Malaysia will try not to, will try to deny. Cortez with the floater. Too easy for Jacob Cortez. Oh, you know Cortez is going to take that mismatch. You'd love to see Malaysia really help out on the driving lane. Another turnover and a foul. And that's a good foul by Ong Wei Yong. He was beat. Malaysia was beat. So that's a good foul if you ask me. Now the problem, Ben, they will have four team fouls. Essentially, now they're in the penalty with seven minutes left in the third quarter. Okay, so they're bringing on Quek for the ultimate gamble right here. Daddy Quek with three fouls. And this ain't pretty if you're a Malaysian fan. Inbound, Cometa, Cortez sends it, misses, Quick with the rebound, looking for the outlet pass. Got to get it over half court. Now this is the Mighty Mouse hero who had a really good tournament last year. Lim Chi Wei, May May, oh, unlucky right there. And frustration seeping in for Malaysia, but they're still in this against the visitors. Out. Gonna stick with their man, miss. Rebound right there. And Cortez, Cortez kicks. Pull up, still slip right there. They're gonna take advantage Ooh. behind the back, no. Three seconds. Three second call. Yes, Kim, tell us something we don't know. What's going on? I just came from Harry Mao Malaysia's benches and Iho and the rest of Harry Mao Malaysia has been very happy with the referee's call. You can see Iho shaking his head as he exits the court and with San Beda catching up, they were hoping to field Iho in the last two quarters of this tight match. Back to you, Ben. Thanks very much. Maybe with a triple. Bang! Ting Chun Hong! That's the Maybe that we know. His team need him right now. At this point, Mamey has to score at least 40 points. <laughs> He's going to do a Robinson. Cortez, someone body up on him. Sets and shoots. Ball lands it in and ties it up right here. They were too open right there. Malaysia's defense suffering from a breakdown one on one. May May rush three point shot right there. They've got to be calm and collected. Kuntapai. Bang! Dami Kuntapai. Back to back threes for the San Beda Red Lions. 
and Malaysia need a big, big timeout. We're back shortly. Interesting third quarter happening right here. It's a close game, 54-51. Both teams bringing out the shooting rifle and hitting their targets. San Pedro with back-to-back -back threes before the timeout. So Malaysia to inbound right here. Here comes Dewey Young. He's a decent shooter. Oh, stolen right there by Cortez. Oh, nice defense there, cover defense by Lim Chi Wei. Lim Chi Wei preventing an easy two points from Jacob Cortez, and Malaysia has to do a better job protecting that basketball. J Jacob Cortez has only got eight points, but I feel like he's got a lot more than that. It's just it's the threat he poses for the Malaysian defense. That's right. Kuntapai open, he's got to stay with him and not let him take a shot. Cortez! It's a foul on Quick. Uh-huh. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Foul Pushing foul, quick. two shots. That's his fourth. I think, I, look. Oh, yeah. Mm. I don't know. But he, he, he stuck his, I mean, it, that yeah. angle is deceptive, to be yeah, very it fair. Is. It is. But he put his hands up. But it looks like he was kind of late on the help. As uh, Cortez was going up, quick slid into his space. Remember, in the basketball rules, you have to give the offensive player a cylinder, and you cannot slide late into that offensive cylinder if you're a defender. Jacob Cortez, you can put him off as much as you want. I think he's going to hit all his shots. Unless he hears me right now and he misses <laughs> <laughs> the commentator's curse. Again, Quick, Ben, four fouls. You lost Yi Hao, now Quick with four fouls. Uh, so this will be interesting now. Malaysia with an, well, two, well, two backcourt players, well, Two point guards, really. Po guys with point guard bodies, Heng Yi Tong and Dee Wee Young. Heng Yi Tong is good at breaking the press because of his speed. Jacob Cortez trying to put him under pressure. And Jacob Cortez is doing a good job. Uh, despite the foul, he, he liked the pressure San Beda is putting on Harimau in the full court. Cortez getting caught here with his hands. That's actually what we call impeding the progress of the offensive player. Can't do that. Heng Yi Tong sprinting. May May trying to get an open look to shoot. So they're going to try to de deny May May any decent open looks. May May, oh, good Ooh. team. Two shots, though. So I think Malaysia will have to play like uh, imports playing, you know, you know in, yeah. a, in an Asian league. Drive May the lane. May May has to play like an import now because of the adversity Malaysia is facing. So you see here in the replay, May May, he's been doing, doing great job this third quarter, trying to get to the hole, trying to get free throws because his outside shot hasn't been falling this afternoon. Well, he is the lead, but he's the leading scorer for Malaysia with 15 points. The leading scorer for San Beda is Andrada with 17 points. So, see Megan making an appearance because of Quex foul trouble. 56-51. It's close right here, and Malaysia. Uh, weathering a massive storm, Wong Yi Hao ejected, Quek Ten Yuen in foul trouble. And Mei Mei puts that through to make it a four point ball game. Mei Mei trying to put the team on his shoulders right now. Oh, yeah, he's trying to be the 
the Michael Jordan of this team. The triple separating two teams. Good press, Malaysia pressing. I think the refs have been consistent on both ends, calling that kind of foul on the ball handler. See in the replay, as they called with Jacob Cortez, Ben, they called the reach in impeding Cometa's progress. He can't put the hands on the player. Rules have changed. The, the style of refereeing has changed from the 90s and early 2000s, where they're giving more leeway to the offensive player in terms of the hand check fouls. And the referees have been consistent on both ends. That's right. But you know what? This is a good test for Malaysia because, I mean, you're playing young players, talented guys who have grown up with basketball in a very, very developed pathway system versus our guys who came through just the local high schools and misses that. So four-point ball game, rebound there by Megan. May May, will he go for the three or the two? Got to take simple shots on the drive. Dish, Megan couldn't put that away, but he's fouled in the process. And knocked to the head right there. So the referee's consistent, like you said, Coach Mark, calling everything but not anything, which is good. Again, Malaysia with a more direct approach to their offense, trying to get the ball inside the paint. See the drop pass there to Megan. Now, question is, will Megan make the free throws? Megan will make, I think he will hit, hit at least one. That's Megan for you. He has one more chance. Yep. You know, I, and if he, if he gets this shot in, I'm the best commentator in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and Kim, what's going on? I'm the best commentator in the world. Kim. With Iho unable to play in this crucial match, Harry Mao Malaysia wants to make room for Mei Mei to move around the screens to lose his defenders so he can find himself open. Deja vu, but they are sure the fans that they have learned from the mistake as in CSB and hopes to win this one and head to the final stage. Back to you, Ben. Lost the handle, Maymay. Frustration seeping in. Sanbeda roaring. Good defense there. That's the best block I've seen. Well, let me rephrase that. That's a rare I can't block. remember the last time I saw a big block like that. A major critical block to turn its game on a game on its heads. Great recovery right there. By Di Wee Yang. Yeah, I'm looking at the Malaysian bench. Yeah, there is nobody to replace Yi Hao. It's 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 almost impossible. So Heng Yi, so Heng Yi Tong, and Oi Sian Fu step up and shoot like Steph Curry. Out, fires, miss. Megan couldn't get the rebound. Out being out rebounded right here, the Malaysian team. Heng Yi Tong playing D. Alex Visser handoff. Heng Yi Tong off the switch earlier. Swing. Drive. Oh, it's hot potato around. No. Outlet pass. May May drives. Ooh. And everybody getting frustrated right here, Coach Mark. Yeah, it's been sloppy the past few possessions for both teams, Ben. Two shots right there for Malaysia. May May went up. Alex Visa, he jumped. So that's why, and to block that, so that's why that was a legal guarding position. Cometa with a bad block out. Giving two free throws. Both teams was now have the Visa or Cometa? Cometa on the foul. Okay, yeah. my mistake, everyone. Visa with a good defense, though, on May May. Let's look at this. Lee Wee Young. They need points from these guys, Ben. Yeah. Yeah, they just need points. I, If I say anything factual, I think the fans will probably want to kill me because I'm, they'll think I'm being too critical. And he bricks both shots. Can't you break. can't sugarcoat that. On the drive, around and in. Good move right there by the big, big man. Hopia. Cliff Hopia, the marketing student from Bulacan. Your favorite city in the Philippines. Absolutely. Sienfu, miss. And Megan recovers. 
Heng Yi Tong asking for it. Should kick out the Yi Tong. Fires high. Uh, you can't get a shot right here at Maba. The popcorn, you can get the popcorn, but you can't get the three point shot. The popcorn is tasty, by the way. Oh, elbow, miss. Well, what did the ref say on that one? Foul again on Cometa. Cometa frustrated with his play. He, he's had some moments, but again, the turnover here, it's, the ball just slipped out of his hand. He had an open shot, but again, it's been very humid here in Maba and in Kuala Lumpur the whole it's week. Quite, it's quite humid in Philippines, no? It is. Nothing yeah. new. OECN Fu, Malaysia cold at the moment. Desperate for buckets. What? Malaysia with another missed shot the right struggle there. Struggle continue for Malaysia. Nobody can buy a bucket outside of Meimei. Ui Senfu, take a deep breath, lower your knees. And hit a shot. I'm always telling the Malaysian players, it's all in the knees. Let it flow from the knees. Spring it. A lot of them are sometimes too rushed to take the shot. Tried to lob it. Ooh, the referee didn't blow anything. There's the whistle by the referee. I bad, must be. That's, that's bad half-court defense from the Thai, from Harimau. You know, they got the help from Megan, but nobody helped the helper, as we like to say. See in the replay, Megan helping on that drive, but nobody dropping down to Cliff Hopia. You have to help the helper. In those instances you know what this is a I, I agree with you coach Martin. you know this is a good thing for Malaysia this is a simulated very hard training <laughs> so look at it as training that it's it simulated to the highest order you want a training session that's tough and as real as you get this is it the Asia basket will bring that to you that's right and we won't be back after these commercial messages we'll stay <laughs> with you to constantly deliver the basketball message the high performance message down by eight, the Malaysia team. San Bena playing a pretty safe game. Sien Fu to Megan. Trying to post Megan up. And the foul. There's a lot of stop start here by the referees. The referees have taken control of the game ever since that ejection from Yao. Tried to go around right there. Again, Megan going to the line. The great adventure, Megan at the free throw line. Can he beat 50%? Oh! <laughs> Megan Mahadevan, once upon a time, a 3x3 player. Hopefully, he'll go to the Southeast Asian Games. He gets one more try. Oh! He Looks gets one like more try. Let's see if he can redeem himself at the line. No wonder they call it the charity stripe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Megan, you got to focus I'm, 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 I'm out of words here, Coach Mark. You know what? I mean, there it is. There's a basket. Took him, took him three tries. Defense is the word by the Malaysia fans. Out, Visa, handoff. Boyasing, Boyosing, should I say. Boyosing, to the rack. And that's better defense by Malaysia. Visa tries to float it in, and the putback right there by Boyosing. Boyosing showing off the athleticism, getting the putback, not once, but twice. And Malaysia has to do a better job rebounding. Yi Tong couldn't drop it in. Sien Fu, nine point lead. Could this be a six? No, they're just reloading and reloading and shooting and missing at the moment. Their confidence is a little bit low, Malaysia. Just trying to get, got to get some simple shots in. And Ting Chung Hong, can he be the the man to change that he has to be he has to be he has to be the man right now for Harimau Malaysia while they're struggling for points you need your best player to get the rock and get some baskets hopefully fires that is tough and that was my breath by the way when I if you're wondering <laughs> if that was the wind no Long that was my breath from my, 
my guy Ben Ibrahim. And San Bella, oh, turnover right here. Mei Mei, Itong, Mei Mei. Oh, that's the best piece of action I've seen today. From Malaysia, anyway. 65-58. It has oh, to start with their they, defense. They, they're bringing out the trap, yeah. coach. It has to start from the defense. They're having a hard time. Look defending. at this crowd, they're going absolutely crazy. You see in the replay, I think they have a gripe. Looks like that came out on JV Gallego's leg. The referees, though, sticking with the call. It's on Beda. Changing, up the, changing the lineup, bringing back their leading scorer for the game, Yuki Nadrada. This yeah. is the longest third quarter I've ever commentated on. You know, I know you've just started your commentating career, but you, as a coach, I'm, see, I'm sure you've seen some pretty crazy oh, stuff. Yeah, definitely. A lot. There's been longer quarters, Ben. Has it? Seen a few. And missed shot right there, but they get the ball back. Oh, he came from the outside, though. So, Ting Chun Hong doesn't have his uh, shooting guard or wingman buddy next to him, Wong Yi Hao. Oi Sian Fu trying to fill that void with the handle right now on the drive. Out, swing, handoff. Sian Fu sets and shoots, miss. Despite everything, Ben, Harimau Malaysia is only down seven, really. Oh, good block right there. Continuation. This is what they need. It all starts with defense. Where's the offense? On the try. Mei Mei, yes. Step up. Ting Chun Hong. Defense to offense. Malaysia needs more of that. Mei Mei carrying the load for Malaysia offensively. Malaysia going to play the biggest defensive game ever. So stolen right there, Sien Fu. Sien Fu attacks and he will get two bites of the cherry. And let's hope for an improved performance from the charity stripe right here for the Malaysian team. Coach Mark, it's been a super interesting game. It has been Malaysia trying to get back, using their defense, showing the trap. Showing the defense one-on-one. -on -one. Clean swipe right there. And Hopia, I don't know why he had to reach in. He's six foot nine. All he has to do is raise his arms. He's going to be as tall as the KL Tower. <laughs> KLZZ. Looks like you went sightseeing. <laughs> nothing to laugh at right there. Uh, my mother once said to me, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. Amen. Hallelujah. So Oi Sien Fu taking a breath, looking up at the heavens and said, Mr. Naismith, give me a basket. Oh, no basket right there. He so. has one more try. Oh, really? Ba well, there was an impeachment? Infringement? Yeah. Yep. I didn't see that. I just, I just saw the second missed shot and I was like... You got to wait for the ball to hit oh, the rim wow, before okay. he can come in. I think a free throw. A military, a military camp needs to be set up on... Uh, Tomorrow. <laughs> well, maybe at midnight tonight. Jim should be. Oh, no. And here they come. San Beto shoots for three. Miss. And at the end of the third period, San Beto Red Lions lead 65 to 60. We will be back in the next two minutes. Don't go away.
And we are back for the fourth quarter. And we are not sure if it's going to be the final quarter because maybe a timeout might be called. You never know. To all, to all Malaysian Muslims or Muslims around the world who are, who are practicing Ramadan, Selamat Berpuasa, from one Muslim to many. Yes, we book up wasa here in Malaysia at 7.20 p.m. But I might have to delay my book up wasa because there might be a timeout. You never know. You're with me, Ben Ibrahim, and Coach Mark Dandan and Kim Mas. And Coach Mark, what is your input on this game? No, input-wise, Malaysia really relying heavily on this guy, May May. May May already with 18 points in this half after starting very slow, only six in the first. Well, you know what? They've got to play two-way basketball. Not only do they have to score the threes, but they've got to defend the perimeter as well. May May getting a bit more physical. Malaysia trying to wake up out of that slump they were in in the second and third quarters. Corner pocket three, miss. Gets the ball back. Good job right there by Lee Jing Hong. Mighty Mars fires again. May May. Oh, unlucky, Anthony. Oh, lost the handle. Here come the San Beda boys. Out. Off the fake. Taking their time a little bit. Cortez saying, I need some help. I need a screen. May May staying with Cortez. Deflection right here. Now Malaysia playing like men who need baskets. Pushing foul, two shots. Now this guy can hit a free throw. I'm not gonna say he's gonna hit a free throw, but he can hit a free throw. He, we call him Mighty Mouse. He played for Johor in the Malaysia Pro League, which was a senior competition, which just started this year. The second time ever we've had a full-time senior competition. Well, it wasn't really full-time. It was full-time for a couple of months. But hey, better than, better than, it's developing tournament and it's gonna be back this year as well. So you know what, Some, uh, a lot of your colleagues might get a phone call to play as an import. <laughs> Sangalang, Louis Sangalang, after his performance in this tournament, he might get a phone call as well. A few guys here, maybe after college. Mm, mm. So I, I'm sure a lot of the guys who want to come to Malaysia, they're putting their CVs and their reels out there. Best update your CVs, boys. That's right. Again, Malaysia starting out on defense. Good ball, uh, ball screen defense on Jacob Cortez. Really he, using he, the now, height. I've said this again. If he gets these two free throws, I'm the best commentator in the world. <laughs> I'm a sorcerer of all sorcerers. If not, I'm just a dude. Harimau Malaysia. I'm just a dude. <laughs> yeah. But he can hit him. He's a, he, he's he a hit good, one. He's a good combative player. Good one start point for, ball game mark. Yeah, good start for Malaysia defensively. Carrying over from the end of the third quarter. That's right. Kuntapai. Bang! He spoils the Malaysian plans. But it's early days yet. Dami Kuntapai. A good, good three-point shooter. Sienfu attacks the rim and gets some production at the at the tin. Great move by Ushenfu. Ushenfu, excuse me. That's okay. It's not an easy name to pronounce. It is not. But they're getting to the tin more, Ben, and that's what you want to see. Yeah, they can't take big three-point bombs anymore. They've got to play more perimeter defense. Step back three. Bang! Jacob Cortez! Oh, Jacob Cortez. the man who is sparked by the man called Iron Mike. I'm going to call him Iron Mike. He's dead. May May. Mercy, Looking. mercy me, Jacob Cortez. May May. On the drive, step back three on its way. Oh, hits the tin but doesn't go in. 71-66, Malaysia can't afford to get in the hole right here. Cortez, good pass, fires, bang! Back to back three pointers for the San Beda Red Lions. Yeah, you have a stoppage here. Timeout call. Offensive foul. And we're going to take a breather while everybody discusses it. We'll be back shortly.
7.29 to go in this game. Back-to-back -back threes by Senbeta. Thanks to everybody who's left comments. VP, Guski, Quinton, uh, Darren K, Ron Lorette. Your comments are great. Malaysia trying to find a way to be great. Sienfu struggling with his shot. I don't think he, I think he needs to go for twos. Or bank shots. Sanbeta can really put the nail, can really drive the dagger to the heart right here. Back, attempted backdoor cut, good ball movement out. Off the fake, kick, fires long. Bang! That's their third consecutive three. And Malaysia, the perimeter defense is very, very much needed at the moment. If they lose this game, they'll just have to look back at that point. Where was the perimeter defense? It almost didn't exist. Quick 10 Yuan on with his four foul troubles. Stolen right there by Cortez. Flies to the rim. Oh, he couldn't put it away. He must be in a charity mood for Malaysia. I think he was distracted by... He and looked at the opponent. He looked first. Look at Malaysia. Coach Mark, they're dropping their heads a bit right here. And one. Gets the bucket in the bang. Tough take right there from Jomel Puno drawing the contact. Out of balance in the air. And this this is deja vu according to uh, like the Blazers game, yeah? Yeah. Right. Ooh. I didn't, call, I, didn't, I didn't call that game. I saw certain highlights, but it wasn't pretty. And I just thought that the uh, Blazers just got back into the game because they gave the Blazers too many open wide looks. And tonight, from the outside, it's just an op open invitation to shoot. It is, and it's been an 11-0 run for San Beda, opening up the game. We see Meme clutching on the shorts. He's been logging in the heavy minutes. Yeah, and they don't they don't want him to get injured. So I think San Beda is going to take their foot off the gas just for maybe two minutes and give some other guys some, some more time. It's good to see Gabriel Cometa, who hasn't played that much on the court. Quick! Here comes Ong Wei Yong. He he can he can take give you some territory and dis cover some distance. And the San Bernard team have the potential to knock the defending champions out of this tournament. Offensively, Ben, you know what? That's what you want to see. You want to see May May coming off movement. You're trying to post them up earlier, but. Sanbeda doing a great job of defending that, but Meme off the ball screen is such a threat. That's right. He is. And this is where uh, Yeehaw would give you 10, 11 points. Long three, miss. Who wants the rebound? And Sanbeda, just, uh, their, their rebounding stats must be way, way more impressive than Malaysia at the moment. They do have more offensive rebounds than Malaysia at the end of the third quarter. Yeah, they would, they would, they would, they're going to attack. And Kuntapai missed that. Here comes Malaysia. They need to get quick in transition. Wei Yong and gives it away right there. Quick Ten Yuan could not hang on to it. And the crowd, you can hear the crowd from a country mile away. Maybe getting his first breather off the second half. Critical juncture in her game with over five minutes left. It's actually still a manageable lead if you're Malaysia. But with your star player on the bench, and your second leading scorer already disqualified from the game. Guys like Quick have to step up, start hitting those threes. Yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't agree with I, I don't know what else to say, Coach Mark. I mean, you know, when I work with international analysts who don't know the Malaysia game very, very well, they say the same, pretty much the same thing that you do. But for me, so as a veteran of this game behind, uh, you know, behind the screen, it, it's, it's quite frustrating to watch. And another shot goes down there. Yuki and Andrada, as they're racking up the points. He's got 23 points, Andrada. Yuki and Andrada, an inside-out threat for San Beda. I'd like to see him hitting those threes. 16 to nothing run for San Beda right now. Quick, tries to put it up, doesn't put it in. Uh, surprisingly, San Beda only outscored the Harimau Malaysia team 24 to 21 in the third I think Malaysia fought pretty hard at the end to get some points back but right now it ain't pretty Richmark. 
It is not. You see Megan coming back in into the game. 17-point lead for San Beda. You see the turnover from Jomel Puno stepping on the line. Again, Harimau has to get more offense from guys not named May May. Quick and the others stepping up. Yeah, true that. And big shout out to Mikasa, Love Forever, Eli Labadan, Tan, Yi Weng Ng, Erkan, Designer underscore Drews, Amrik Ramli TV, Eddie Wong, thanks for watching. Sorry I can't mention everybody's name. I gotta do my job as a commentator and call the play. Shoots for two. That was short. Megan. That's they the game in a nutshell. Put, couldn't, couldn't put it in. That's the game in a nutshell. Yeah, right yeah, that, that, that sums up Malaysia. I mean, they, they, the C games are only two weeks away. I, I, I really hope this doesn't smash their confidence because the, the C games teams, they, you know, you, got, you look at Thailand, you got Freddie Leash, you got Moses Morgan, you know, you, you got really good players like that. Quick fires, miss. Megan goes in, and Megan with the uh, so. You know, I mean, your your team. You will have Jun Man Fajardo, Kiefer Ravina. You know, who else? Who else you got? Matthew Wright. Will he play? I'm not sure. He's you know, in Japan. That, that's how much talent you guys have. That's what you can call on. You know, Jamar Johnson from Indonesia. And uh, for the Saigon team, Tim Waller. You know. And Ang Ming Kiat. Those guys are very, very good players. So, this, and Chris Durker, Justin Young, Mr. Wiggle, which is Kwa. So, Kwa Jiang. So, that's the, ta that, that's the type of talent they're going to go up against. So, no disrespect to San Beda. How much, you know, talent wise, talent for talent, those names that I just mentioned are quite a lot better than the San Beda guys. If any positive right now, Megan, two out of two from the free throw line. He must have heard us. He must have heard us. <laughs> Best commentators ever. Cometa right now with the handle. Swing. Drive. Out. That's a bit better, but they get it back. Megan with the rebound. Outlet pass to Heng Yi Tong. Heng Yi Tong couldn't put it in. Too rushed. But it's good effort though. They're not completely out of this Malaysia. They're 15 points down. And San Beda right here. Still got a bit of work to do. And I oh, lost the handle. Good defense by Johnny Wong. Heng Yi Tong. Can he set, shoot, and couldn't hit the tin and that came off a San Beda player. And look at that man right there, Jacob Cortez. He wants to play every minute. It's been very sloppy the past two minutes for San Beda. Not really executing any kind of play, relying on a lot of ball screens and turnovers. And Harimau, they've had their opportunities on the fast break, just not able to finish layups or open threes. Absolutely. And... Three minutes and 11 seconds. A lot of the fans leaving their inputs on how Malaysian basketball can be improved. A free throw camp? I like to say the pick and roll camp. <laughs> <laughs> Teach us how to do a pick and roll, a proper pick and roll. Megan, up and one. Megan Mahadevan gets the bucket and the foul. Can he convert this three point play? Another whistle there from the referees. Megan, excellent seal on Visser. Strong move from Megan. And one. And there's still time left in this game, Coach Mark. I and mean, if they can hit two threes and after this one. We have a technical foul also on Alex Visser for arguing on that call. Well, at least the refs are consistent, yeah? Yeah. So free throws. But that free throw needs to go in. Yeah, that's a waste right there. If you're Harimau Malaysia... You're getting tries at the line and the clock stopped, but you're wasting all your opportunities by missing. How many free throws now? A, a lot. <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> I'm just going to summarize. A lot. Megan. Oh, he gets it in. Well done, Megan Mahadevan. A big shout out to his parents as well, auntie and uncle. Are very, very nice people. 
and his girlfriend who's always here supporting him with her uh, with her friends her female friends great support megan mehan devon has and gives it away right there again, is that the t is that the late turning point in this game coach mark no again the, at the end of the third quarter malaysia with their defense went to that late run to keep the score tight after we e how got thrown out they went to the traps, they went to trapping ball screens, they generated turnovers, got out on the break. I think if Malaysia hit a three, this place will erupt. It will, most definitely. So they've got to get a good open look. Who's going to take that big shot? You want to say May May? He's back in. Yep. Megan. I, li I like Chi Wei's chances. I know he's a bit of a short guy, but you know, he's a decent, decent shooter. Handles the ball extremely well. So I would love to see Lim Chi Wei. And everybody loves that dark horse story, a short guy hitting the big shot. Oh, yeah, definitely. And you were saying about the ball screen camp right there. Great use of the ball screen by Megan. Rolling and sealing on the smaller defender, earning, his earning a trip to the line, knocking down his free throws. It's four straight free throws now for Megan. Well, Megan must have heard us, and I think he's playing with that winning mentality and desperation stuff. To make this a 10-point ball game, one more try. <laughs> There's a lot of... Oh, no, a turnover. Now Malaysia with the violation. Now Malaysia with the violation, okay. So, 11 points down for Malaysia. San Beda are not home yet. They want to march to the final. And that'd be interesting, the opponent, whoever, the, the, whoever wins this game, the opponent of semi-final number two, that's going to be a cool game between the ASIL team and the Blazers, yeah? Yeah. Because the Asil team, led by Mr. Robinson. Mr. Robinson, who, again, question marks about his foot injury. He played well yesterday. Yeah, he did. Hey, actually, Asil is the dark horse to win this, you know. Louis playing well. Will it be an all-Philippines final? Senbera on the drive, shoots for two, missed Ouch. shot. Here comes Chi Wei. Will he get his way? May May. Thinking about it, go for the two if you ask me. Lost the handle, yep. Bit, again, rush, tak sabar as we say in Malaysia, which is not, means not patient. And still got oh, great control. Oh, Chi Wei, look at that. Cortez, Dewey Young, squaring up against Cortez. Gotta stay with Cortez. Gets the ball back like football down there. It came up Quick's feet. Shot clock violation, though. Ooh, Malaysia that's getting the stops, Ben. They're getting stops the past two minutes, but they need to convert often. <laughs> it's not enough that they're getting the stops here on defense, but going back on offense, they need to convert consecutively. In order to, it's an 11 point lead with less than two minutes. It's not impossible, but they need to make the most out of their chances. Well, Megan Mahadevan going to the bench. Megan looks gassed. And it's good to see that he's going to the bench and he's not fouled out because mm -hmm. he, he usually goes to the bench because he is fouled out. He fouled out last night. <laughs> oh, man. I like him. He's a good guy. You know, Chi Wei, screen by Quick. And who's going to take the shot? May May. The step back three. Not quite. That was a bit too rushed. And elbows, an elbow is shown right there by Cliff Hoppier. And the San Beda team just want to waste some time. Bounce pass out. Fires. Miss. Chi Wei. Mighty Mouse in the house. How many points can you shoot? Spin. To the rack. Oh, couldn't get it. Tries to get it back. Loose ball. Wasted opportunities for Harimau Malaysia. An open lane right there. Just a missed layup. Yeah, again, the Malaysian problem. When you're under real, real pressure, that execution seems to be the biggest, biggest hurdle. I mean, easier said than done, but I, I've seen it a bit too much, Noel. And... Cortez, hand, body up, Malaysia trying to body up. Good rebound right there by Quick as he's 
struggling to release it. Ting Sienfuk out. Mei Mei drive, floats it, couldn't sink it. And I think that's the ball game. And Malaysia, the defending champions, are going to be given their marching orders by the San Beda Red Lions. The Philippines crowd are on their feet. There's a small group of them, but they're cheering like they're singing karaoke. <laughs> favorite Filipino pastime. Eh? It, it is. I don't know which one, which one is the favorite food in the Philippines. Eating uh, adobo or singing songs in, oh, Tagalog, it, in Tagalog. It goes hand in hand, eating and singing karaoke. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Never eat with your mouth, never sing with your mouth full. <laughs> and... The San Beda Red Lions, got to give them full credit. It wasn't a pretty game. It wasn't by any means. But they brought it, they brought that, you know, the, the outside shooting was good Good today. And a lot of their players, they stepped up. They did their homework. They did just enough defensively. And the big blow again, the foul trouble to quick. Yihao getting thrown out early in the third quarter for taunting. Some unnecessary actions from Harimau. Leading to this defeat to Shoots San Beda. for three, miss shot right there. And the final score right here, the San Beda Red Lions, a collegiate team from the Philippines, defeat the National Malaysia team, Harimau Malaysia, 83 to 72. Congratulations. How do you say congratulations in uh, Tagalog? Oh, wait. It's Tanya in Malaysia, in, in the Malay language. Tanya San Beda Red Lions. We just say congrats. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> in that in that strong Tagalog accent, you say congrats. Congrats. So what a game, Coach Mark. Your thoughts about the game? Again, for Harimau Malaysia, key factor right there is the loss of one Yi Hao getting thrown out early in the third quarter for, of all things, taunting. Not the best way to get thrown out of a ball game. In the struggles of Maymay towards the end of the fourth quarter, foul trouble to quick, all led to the recipe for disaster for Harimau Malaysia here. Well, it was they're not their best performance. They a lot of rush shots, a lot of missed shots, and didn't rebound very well at all. Didn't per, didn't def, didn't uh, defend the perimeter, and right now. We are going to go to our courtside reporter, Kim, who's with you, Ken Andrade. Over to you, Kim. Thank you, Ben. I'm here with the player of the game, Yuken Andrada. Congratulations. Now, like CSB, you guys had a 16-point deficit. Did you guys ever doubt that you can pull this off? Wait, what was it again? Did you guys ever doubt that you can pull this off? Uh, uh, we just stick to the plan on our defensive game plan. Uh, especially what Coach Yuri told us that uh, we have to play physical with them. We have to run the court. So I think we had uh, I think we had it coming with them. All right. Now you're going to be in a championship game. Now who's a better matchup for San Beda Red Lions? Is it CSB or KL Asil? Uh, I think both teams is uh, are both good. Uh, so I think uh, either one of them is a good match matchup for us. I'm sure the San Beda community is very happy right now. Everyone who's watching here and at home, your family and friends, greetings. Uh, I just want to thank everyone, uh, the San Beda community, uh, my teammates, my team, uh, my coaches, my families and friends, uh, all the way down in the Philippines. Uh, I just want to thank you all for the support and uh, hope you keep supporting us in the championship game. Congratulations, Yugen Andrada and San Beda Red Lions. Back to you, Ben and Mark. Thank you very much, Kim. And yes, the Malaysian team are out. And will it be an all Philippines final or will it be KL Asil against the San Beda Red Lions? Coach Marks, your final thoughts before we say goodbye and see you at 8 p.m. for the final game, for the second, sorry, uh, for the second semi final, which is not 9 8 p.m., which is, will start very shortly. Yeah, I hope everybody sticks around to watch our second game between the CSB Blazers and the KL Asil. Sure to be another slobber knocker of a ball game. Good thoughts to everyone. Appreciate all who are watching on the live stream. Thank you so much for your support. And thank you, everyone. And thank you, everyone, for the comments on the live stream. You were absolutely fantastic. Really, really loved your comments. I know some of you got a little bit frustrated because your, how your team was playing, but, you know, that's basketball for you. 
on behalf of Coach Mark Dandan, Kim Massa, Courtside Reporter, Noel Zarate, our Head of Production, and myself, Ben Ibrahim. Thank you for watching, and please join us for the second semi-final when the Blazers take on the KL Asil team. We'll see you very, very shortly. Take care.